Hello everyone. Ever since the human appeared on earth's surface, we are surrounded by nature and also dependent on all its gifts. We needed land to live, water to drink, sunshine for heat and energy, forest and wildlife for food and so many other things for our existence. Anything and everything which is present in our environment and which can be used by the living beings is called as natural resources. And the system controlling the use of these natural resources so as to avoid their wastage and find methods for their effective use is called as management of natural resources. These natural resources provides us a lot of things which we use directly or indirectly. That makes these resources very important for us. So anyone using these resources directly or indirectly for the development or consumption should encourage the use of these resources in a sustainable way. That means that the development should meet the basic human needs of the current situation but should also preserve the natural resources for the future generations. For better management and study, we can classify these natural resources into three types. The first one is the inorganic resources which includes air, water and metallic minerals. The second one is the organic resources which includes living beings, plants, animals, microorganisms and their products including fossil fuels. The third one is the mixed resources which includes substances which are both organic and inorganic. For example, soil. We can also classify the natural resources on the basis of the abundance and availability. The first one is the inexhaustible resources which means they are present in abundance and cannot get exhausted on overuse by the human. They include air, sand, clay, tidal energy and rains. The second one is the exhaustible resources which means they can get exhausted on overuse by the human. These exhaustible resources can again be classified into two sources which are renewable and non-renewable. Renewable resources can be recycled and can be revived if managed wisely. These include forest, wildlife, crops, domestic animals and groundwater. The second one is the non-renewable resources which means they cannot get recycled if get exhausted. These include mineral, fossil fuels, coal, gas and petroleum. We can also classify these natural resources on the basis of the geographical distribution. These include national resources which means these resources are confined to national boundaries. They include minerals, land and forest. The second one is the multinational resources which means these resources are shared by one or more nation. These include river, lakes and migratory birds. The third one is the international resources which means these resources are shared uniformly by all the nation. For example, air and sunlight. We use these natural resources for fuel, food, clothes, vehicles and many more things. So this makes it very important that these natural resources are used wisely. We know that the resources on the earth are limited. So with the increasing population, the demand for the natural resources is also increasing day by day. The proper management of these resources can ensure that these resources are used judiciously so that they meet the demands of the present generation and also last for the future generations to come. The proper management of the resources also takes into the consideration of the long term view and prevents the exploitation of these resources for short term gain. The proper management of resources also take care that these resources are equally distributed among the people so that the development of resources is benefiting all. The proper management of natural resources also takes into the consideration to the effect on the environment which is caused due to the extraction and find ways and means to minimize the loss caused to the damage. For example, the forests which are cut down for various purposes, these damage can be controlled if the plant saplings of the same tree is planted on the same number. So we can say that these natural resources play a very important role in our lives. All these natural resources need a proper management in order to meet the needs of the human and the fulfillment from the natural resources and hence the conservation is important. 
So we can conserve these resources in two ways. The first one is the in-situ conservation which includes the conservation of the natural resources in the natural habitat. For example, national parks, centuries and many more. The second one is the ex situ conservation which means the conservation of these natural resources occur outside the natural habitats. For example, zoo, tissue culture and pollen storage. We'll study about these natural resources in detail in our next lecture and also see the various methods for their conservation.